Oh boy, I gotta tell you, I had a quick little peek inside this box just to give feedback and check all the contents are good, but I haven't had a proper look and this is gonna be a first impression. So we are just gonna do this pretty much without any break, just a slow showcase of this beautiful bag. Cause I just wanna talk about the legacy of Halo Mega and really just show off what it was like when we were just <laughs> getting endless figures produced. Right, so you can already see some goodies in here, some cool figures. We can see some Flood, we can see some rare Marines and Spartans. Let's break it open. We'll see if I can uh, remember all of these different sets and what figures came with them. So, of course, straight away, we've got something very classic indeed. These are the original drop pods. Uh, there were three originally, then there was a fourth, and then Covenant and Flood. This is the original first drop pod. In my opinion, the best. I mean, there are some ones with really cool effects, but this is the OG, and it's the first ever drop pod. I mean, I know some were released at the same time, but for me, this is the original. It comes with a deployable uh, sort of landing chute, and then there were two sizes of rod that came with it short for when it's like, I don't know, uh, fixed in place, I guess, in its loading bay, and then long for when it's like deployed and it's shooting into the atmosphere. So already just like Mega's coming out of the gate with just an amazing attention to detail, and I just cannot get that back in. <laughs> Yeah, look at these red lights, all of this weathering. Then you pop this off inside. You can insert your ODST into, with his, you know, peg hole in the back of the torso. That's a Commander Bakara reference for the OGs out there. Um, and just, yeah, it, the whole thing is exquisite. And you've got the little see-through uh, glass as well, so you can see your ODST inside. Of course, we will get an ODST in there eventually. I wonder if the um, main ODST, it was blue that came with that. We also had the Arctic drop pod. I believe this was in the second wave. The first was the close quarter green and the heavy weapons red, and then this basic one with the sniper. So, we got a Covenant drop pod as well. Now, of course, like you compare these to the two-piece uh, plastic ones that we got later on, there is no comparison. Look at those vents. Like even, that's just the, just the pattern that wraps all the way around. They really had just an amazing amount of detail just from the very get-go. And that's uh, something you'll definitely notice with all of this. Those blue lights were always my favorite. There were three of them in total in the first wave. And oh man, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Right. So we're gonna pick them out, uh, kind of just one by one, I guess. And we're gonna talk through, I'm gonna tell you as much as I can about them. So here are the original Hunters. These came in EVA's Last Stand, um, a really iconic diorama set, which was literally just an EVA with a crashed Warthog that wasn't even 100% complete. You actually had to combine it with the AA Rocket Gun Warthog to make a full Warthog. And uh, yeah, the Hunters were fighting off against EVA on its last stand. There was a purple hunter and a blue hunter at the beginning. Uh, the blue in the EVA's last stand, the purple in the original uh, Wolverine. And then we had a gold one in a combat unit. You know the deal. Here's, uh, I guess, the Arctic drop pods deployable chute. All right, an Arctic flame marine. This is from one of the original uh, combat units. We had uh, you know, the blue and red combat units, then steel, arctic, there were absolutely tons. A sergeant, look at that. I mean, the the washes on these figures, especially just so epic. Look at the camo on the leg there. And a lot of these figures, I believe, were hand-painted originally. Um, I've always wanted to check up on that and actually find out what was hand-painted. Um, but I, I feel like a lot of them were, and you could see that a lot with these drop pods, uh, particularly the frost ones. It was all like hand-painted little specks of, uh, I, well, I guess frost on them. Uh, there's the purple hunter. Very nice. That blue light, especially nice. It's also kind of rare to get hunters uh, with all six of their spines. 
and with both of these pieces because both of these are attached in. So uh, this is an indication that the, they at least took very good care of these and you can obviously see the evolution. Um, and this was the thing, like Mega's molding budget was off the charts. They were making so much and you could see like, they, they released this Hunter, right? And then immediately they're in, innovating into, uh, you know, this massive Hunter fuel rod cannon. So they really are coming a long way fast. Okay. Here we've got a basic Marine, you know, uh, two of the original molds. The only first two UNSC molds were the Spartan and the Marine. And with the Covenant, we had the Elite Grunt. Uh, the Brute came later. Yeah, just the Elite Grunt and uh, Hunter. Um, yeah, so these, uh, you know, obviously this green Spartan, you, you find them all over the shop. <laughs> they are very, very common, but this, uh, green Marine, this lime green actually was from series four blind bags. So that was, um, a little bit more, um, of a rarer figure, if you will, whenever you'd find that you'd feel it was a bit rarer. Now this is cool. This orange Marine is from the battle unit two which is another really OG set, 2009, maybe 2010. Actually really rare. I think maybe it came in the Battle Unit 1 as well. There were a lot of figures that came in Battle Unit 1 that were repurposed into Battle Unit 2. Um, but you know, when, when, it's, when the lore is 15 years old, it's hard to remember sometimes. These two figures from the same silver combat unit. So I don't see any base plates in here. I don't think we're gonna have the bases for the combat units, but it's still good to see that original Marine. Now, uh, you know, I think a lot of it was based on Halo Wars, then Halo Reach. There was some CE um, sort of inspiration, but um, you had a green sort of, um, what would you call that, eyepiece, and then you would have a gold visor. They were two of the main ones. Also, yeah, my hands have some blackberries on. My, my dad and I were blackberry picking. Oh, here's for the ODST fans. Look at this, very fun. So original sniper drop pod, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And the hand painted uh, gloveless or fingerless gloves, really nice. And then this ODST, oh, this is a pop and swap actually. The base ODST is from the um, series four blind bags again, but these arms and legs are the silver pilot from the Falcon. So we're gonna have to try and pop and swap that later. Ooh, now, this is one of the main reasons I bought this uh, this bag, and that's a good sign. There's only one figure that comes with the original assault rifle, the active camo. So um, the last one, this ODST from ODST Ambush, you gotta love it. The camo is phenomenal. It's a great ODST. Two higher boosters. Now, this is a very coveted figure. It can reach about $30, $40 now. It's the blue Hayabusa from the Series 1 blind bags. Hayabusa famously being a, a figure and a mold that Halo 343 Mega Blocks cannot use because it's licensed to a different studio. It's owned by a different studio. So Hayabusa, it's a really rare one. Uh, there were only four or five Hayabusas made and a green Hayabusa that was unreleased to the public. Uh, it was a sort of test mold and there's a few out there. If you know, you know, um, I'm looking at you, Chris. And this is an Arctic Hayabusa, again, from the Arctic Combat Unit. So I think we're gonna have full combat units here. We're not gonna have the bases, but we're gonna have combat units. I can see a flood, of course, good to see. This is, uh, you know, the flood came in a few different iterations, um, some with heavy washes, some without. I much prefer the heavy washes. I believe like the one in the series five or six blind bags had no wash and that wasn't quite as nice. That's a really good one. The Arctic Pilot, series four. Um, I believe we only had, well, this is the Pelican Pilot. I believe we only had two of this Pelican Pilot ever, green and white. The white in series four blind bags and the green in the Pelican, the original Pelican. I don't believe we had any more, correct me if I'm wrong. There it is. The Series 1 AC Spartan. That is a beautiful thing to see, and especially beautiful because there is no yellowing on this at all. A lot of uh, the original AC figures can get yellowing over the years, but the fact that these don't means they've been in good temperature controlled conditions. 
but uh, the eagle-eyed viewer may have already noticed something. It's missing its pelvis. Um, it, well, it's, it's sort of um, hip, um, it's hip attachment. Now, a lot of the original AC figures, those would become brittle, that specific attachment, that specific hip joint, and it would snap. So I assume that one snapped. Luckily for me, I do have spares and you can pop and swap. Um, but yeah, I think that one has uh, snapped. Well, I think clearly it snapped. Um, another, oh, that's a flood arm. Okay. Green Spartan aerosol from the original shade turret. Yeah, nice easy um, set. And it also was at the time where Megablox was doing uh, a feature called the Armory. So like most sets would come with an additional helmet or an additional couple of shoulders and you'd swap them out uh, to sort of further customize your Spartan. It was like a, a predecessor to the Mega Constructs uh, sort of new articulation armor system. And this one came with two helmets one with no flashlight on the side and one with a flashlight. And of course it was around the time of Halo Reach, it worked perfectly because those were real attachments that were being added in game. Is that a, oh, is that a second blue Hayabusa? Don't mind if I do, don't mind if I do. Aha, now, uh, this Elite for the longest time um, stayed under my radar. Now it's one of the nicest Elites. It has gorgeous paint apps. You wouldn't really find like this level of additional lights on any other figure like this is a premium and it is starting to go for a little bit of money and one of the reasons it is is because i didn't even realize that this this at the time this is shipmaster retas Verdum, uh, if that's how you pronounce it like this is the original shipmaster this is must have been like the official non-official original shipmaster back in the day Mega Blocks never actually used the um, official names for any characters. It would just be like an air assault in the Falcon when it was meant to be Cat. Um, but or was Cat the first one that had a name? I don't know. There was a lot of that. Um, the Green Spartans, like that were clearly Master Chief, would just be called Spartan or whatever. Um, and this was no exception. So this was an elite, and this was in the original Wraith. Now think about it. When the Arbiter comes across Shipmaster um, on the ring, he's in a Wraith. So I feel like this is the original Shipmaster and just amazing. Back in the day when you had those colored eyes, incredible. Instead of just holes in the eyes, they were incredible. An orange CQB. This is from the original Battlescape, so good fun. I remember like the first time I held a Battlescape in my hands, it was just, uh, oh, it was crazy. I was in love with it. and. Having bought all those, these like Mega Block sets um, and having them all just sit on my desk, I was like, these are pretty cool. But then when I put them all on a battlescape, everything changed. I was, I was just in love. Ah, these are from the original Red Combat Unit, the original Covenant Red Combat Unit. These elites, these kind of elite miners. Um, interestingly, they do seem to have a different shade of red on the head, like a noticeably different shade of red on the head both. But yeah, these are from the original red combat unit. And I'm sure there's probably more figures from that combat unit as well. Maybe, oh, <laughs> oh goodness. Is, is that Mega Blocks? Comment down below if you know if it's Mega Blocks. I feel like I've seen it before. Is it one of the, is it one of the dragons? Uh, is it like the, the futuristic dragons line? Maybe, that's pretty cool. That's the second green air assault and with it an original cat. So yeah, this is like kind of one of the first uh, named characters, if you want to call it that. It's just so cool to see. No robotic arm, of course, but yeah, this came in the original Falcon and kind of a fun homage that the Falcon sweep also has noble team in it. So the Falcon is just sort of iconically noble team. I guess that makes sense. It's what they ride in on at the beginning of Halo Reach. Another Silver Marine, so we're starting to have our Silver Combat Unit near completion, looking good. It's good to see. Okay. And that is an original full Arctic Combat Unit. Very nice. Right. Oh, very cool. I just, I love rooting through these. There's so much history. This is the original Green Elite, also starting to fetch a decent price. This was a rare, I believe. I mean, it's in the original Series 1 blind bags. Whether or not it was a rare, it sort of is quite unique. Like, it's a really nice color of an iconic figure. And you better believe it looks nice side by side with that red one. 
This is the original Jump Pack Brute. This was from the ODST Ambush. Back in the day, this is one of my all-time favorite figures. I just adored the amount of paint apps. Like, look at the paint, the silver rim around the front of his helmet. Like, that's so nice. Those bands, like, it adds a great 3D depth to it. It's a really good figure, really solid 10 out of 10 figure. I would love um, to one day do like a top 10 old articulation figures. That would be epic. All right, another series one banger, the blue flame marine. Very nice, very nice. I mean, it's so epic. And it was great how Mega Constructs brought the flame marine back in new articulation around the 10 year anniversary of Halo Mega. And here we are on the 15th anniversary and I don't see much, oh dear. This is the next generation Elite, and this is from the blue uh, Covenant Combat uh, Armory Pack. Yeah, one of the original Armory Packs with just this Elite. You can see how much the mold evolved very quickly side by side here. Um, I compared these as, like, I, I, I called these the same Elite uh, in my Mega Constructs versus Mega Blocks Elite and got roasted, uh, video and got roasted in the comments. So I won't be doing that again. Okay, an AC Flame Marine and AC Brute. AC Flame Marine being the chase figure in series two. Ah, now, is that my ODST pop and swap? Is that my ODST pop and swap? What do we think? I think so. That uh, looks better. Is that the ODST? It's hard to say just by looking at it on the spot, but I think it's better. I mean, this is definitely our silver pilot. We've definitely rescued the silver pilot. It's also fun getting like these holes and trying to piece everything back together. It's always a, a little challenging, or it can be. You actually, you have a mixed bag when you buy holes. You never really know what it's gonna be like. Okay, what have we got? An example of the two grunts side by side, the two different uh, sizes in old articulation. This being from the original Battlescape. This being from, who knows? <laughs> Maybe the shade to it. This might be the shade to it. Look at the detail on those eyes. I was gonna say this till the end, um, but we'll do it now. This is a very special figure. And when it caught my eye in the listing, I was like, I need to commit to this. This is incredible. This is a one of 9,900 Steel Spartan a 2009 giveaway for, um, it was a promotional event, so you could write in when Megablocks was first starting, you could write in and pay a small amount and receive this in the mail. And it was in this like lot, it was in this random lot of figures, like that's amazing. And well, I can't really possibly think what would make that more amazing. I mean, you're not suggesting that you have two, from this lot, are you? <laughs> two of them, two of them. There's only 9,900 in the world. I got two of them, baby. And also like there's not 9,900 left in the world. Like people have got rid of them. Um, wow, two of them in one haul. Like that's legendary. That is absolutely legendary. I don't even know what these are worth now. A lot, definitely a lot. Amazing. And another jump pack brute. You can never have enough. That is the truth, another Arctic pilot. I'm also hoping that this drop pod is complete, um, but there you can see the speckled effect of the snow. Like it's so good and every single one is different. It's just completely random splattered snow effect. We've got an original pilot. This is either from the series four blind bugs or from a armory pack. There was a special armory pack that I believe was a UK exclusive or at least a Europe exclusive. So much of the information is almost lost to time now. And that's why, oh, here we go, look, yeah. So this is the original Banshee. Um, this came with the original Banshee. But seeing that paint dot always made me so frustrated that this had the mark for the paint dot, but didn't have one. So I think I did customize a couple at the time. And look at the extra uh, paint apps there. That is night and day difference, very cool nice original purple painted needle. Even these things are starting to get rare now, like they are gorgeous. And then we got some random cannon fodder. We got six monkey boys, nice and easy. The blue was from, oh, the blue Covenant Combat. Red Spartans now, yeah, we got three, four, five red Spartans. They were from series two blind bags. They were also from the Scorpion um, and a couple of other places that I'm not thinking of on the spot. 
and then green Spartans galore. There we are. Now these green Spartans, all from just, you know, random assortments of things. There is a green Spartan that has a silver visor as well. I know that much. They, some of them are slightly different. And then this one is from probably the Battlescape 2. And th for me, this was uh, one of the first iterations of Chief, like proper Chief. It was from ba Battlescape 2 or something. It was in Chief's kind of limey green colors from Halo 2. It was fighting a Sentinel like this was one of my first ever, you know, um, or was it fighting a elite, Flood Elite on a Ghost? Something like that. I mean, this was, uh, yeah, this was one of the first Chiefs for me. Another Cyan Spartan, uh, ODST <laughs> Spartan. I need to go to bed. Aha, uh -huh. some Cannon Fodder Elites. Yeah, some normal, old, and then the second gen from maybe again series four blind bags. There's a lot of series four blind bag figures here. You always find that that like some collectors like just amassed a load of one particular um, one particular series of blind bag. And another AC Spartan also missing the uh, cod piece, but you know I can replace that. I can pop and swap these. That's wonderful to see. Another AC Spartan. Yeah. Fantastic. And then, ah, one of my favorites. I remember the first time I got this sniper rifle, again with the Arctic Drop Pod. Amazing. And this Arctic Drop Pod cover, we're just missing one of the doors, which I'm sure we're gonna come across. Another one of these grunts. I'm starting to think this was from the Shade Turret now. And then a load more basic. Oh, there's, yeah, see, he got a lot of, uh, or she got a lot of these Arctic pilots at the beginning, but it was a common figure in the Blind Bag Series 4. So clearly they bought a lot of Series 4. And then we have one of the original battle uh, packs as well. These bronze um, grunts. There was a bronze with gray and black legs, I believe, and arms. Um, and this bronze elite from the original battle uh, unit one and two. And this bronze brute, amazing as well. The bronze brute was from um, <laughs> something. It was from a blind bag, it was from something. These bronze figures look amazing. Then the silver CQB from an original uh, UNSC armory pack. Beautiful figure, beautiful figure, great washes. This Arctic uh, combat unit figure. And you always wonder like where they got all of their collection from. Did they buy it up slowly? Did they buy different lots? Are these someone else's? Or is this like a bundle of someone else's collections? More green Spartans, red Spartan, orange Spartan. The orange Spartan from the orange combat unit. Another orange Spartan. Two more of these lime green Marines, series four blind bags. We're getting on to the weapons in a minute. Oh, see, there's a particular weapon of interest. This fuel rod canister used to get a lot of uh, money for, now being re-released with the Heretic Grunt in the Halo 2 anniversary pack and a removable fuel canister. Like, just take a second and look at that. Look at that weapon. Just something else, really something else. Here's our last handful of figures. We've got some uh, flood pieces, so that's fun. We've got some flood popcorn boys. Okay, last load of figures here. We've got a purple brute classic. These also came from that Covenant red combat unit. So do we have a full one there? Yeah, we probably do. I think, I believe this was the original red combat unit. Two elites, a brute, and a grunt. I think so. Then we've got a green EVA. Fun. I don't know why it's got the flamethrower. I think I think a lot of people used to confuse the EVA with being um, a flame marine. And this EVA is the EVA from the EVA's last stand. And in green as well. Gorgeous. Another, I think this might be from Series 7 blind bags. Maybe. Hard to keep track. This, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's actually crazy. I've been looking for this figure. Oh, that's amazing. I've been looking for the Spartan for quite a long time. This is from the original battle unit. Um, and I, yeah, I didn't have this. 
uh, for the longest time. So does that mean, oh, oh, it's on. Yep. Here we go. The full original Halo Mega Bloks battle unit too. That is seriously epic. I actually can't believe I just came across that in this haul. That's actually amazing. Oh, I'm very happy about that. All right. The final figures, another grunt from the Battlescape one. Combat Brute, uh, another silver combat unit from Series 2 blind bags, Series 4 blind bags, and the original Series 1 blind bag. So, some extra Flood Popcorn Boys, always good to see, and weapons, weapons galore. There's our last panel on the drop pod. So, we've got a totally complete with ODST. Uh, Arctic drop pod with sniper, and then there's the sniper for the original drop pod as well. So they make a great pair. Um, there's, oh look, th this person took care of their stuff. There's the spare helmet as well. So you can clearly see the difference between, where have you gone? Where have you gone? Nice difference there. Another AC assault rifle, which is what we needed to see. Ah, another helmet, yep, yeah, for the second air assault. This is a really nice collection. Weapons galore. I see another um, blue combat unit um, figure as well. We've got the decals on the original flamethrower. This is the legacy. This is the legacy of, of Halo Mega. This is what it's all about. Like, this is the history that uh, we are protecting every single day, like our entire community, all of us. Um, every time we interact with these things, every time we, we post about them, share images, we, we're continuing the legacy and it's, it's really important, honestly. It's really important. As you can see, like this is, this is one tiny percentage, one tiny, tiny fraction of what we have here. Um, in terms of the history of it, just, tiny, tiny percentage. Um, so get involved, do some research, join us in archiving this stuff. And as always, thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there. And it's gotta be a special figure. I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a few special figures. A few figures that mean something to me. The blue Spartan that uh, I've been missing for a long time, Steel Spartan, ODST and Hayabusa. Signing off. See you next time, folks.